In this section, we are going to work on grand total. In our previous session, we have seen how to display total price as well as how to update quantity. Now, only few sections are left to complete the project. So, we are going to complete this project very soon. If you have not watched any video or if you have not understood anything, please revisit the video so that you will be able to make this complete project. Just imagine we do not have any products in our cart. So initially the grand total should be empty. So what we will do, we are just going to create one variable. I will just write here grand total. Whatever variable names you want, you can give. I am just giving grand total. Initially I am just assigning the value as zero. Now my grand total is 0. Now we will come here. Our headers will be displayed if we are having some products in the cart. If there are some products, I will be coming inside this loop. As of now, in my project, I am having 3 items. First time, my while loop will be running for this one. So whatever total price I am having, basically price into quantity, whatever value I am having, I am just going to add inside grand total. So inside this while loop itself. So for every product we have to run this. So we are going to write inside while loop. I will come on top. I will just give my variable grand total. Equal to I am just going to add my grand total. For every product I have to add the previous value of grand total. I will write here grand total. Grand total plus this value. Whatever we are having here, I will copy this one and I am just going to paste. For each and every product, we are just repeating this. We have fetched the price. We are multiplying with quantity. So, we are going to get how many quantity we are having, that many times I will be having the price for individual product. Then I will be adding grand total of previous product plus that product and I will be getting grand total. I will be explaining you in better way. I will come. Now you can see my grand total is 25,000. I will refresh this one. If you see it is not changed because we have not passed that variable. I will copy this variable and we are having this grand total here. I will remove this. Inside I am going to write PHP echo. I will paste my grand total close PHP. Save. Just focus on grand total. We have 75,000 plus 30, 5,000. Then we have 40,000, 1,45,000. I will refresh this. You can see 1,45,000 is dated. Now for better understanding, you do not have to write here grand total again. We will just write plus or equal to. I will be showing you this one. This is our product 1. And this is our product 2. And this is our product 3. Okay, just ignore my handwriting because I do not have practice in writing like this. Product 1 product 2 and product 3. For first product I am having around 3 quantity I am having and the price is around 15,000. Just imagine for one product we are having 5,000. So for 3 it will be 15,000. Then for product 2 also quantity is 1 and the total price is uh, 10,000. And for product 3 quantity is 2 and I am going to give the total price is 1000, uh, 2000. So, for one product, the total price will be 1000. Now, what I have to do? I have initialized the grand total as 0. So, first time, my value of grand total will be 0. My loop will be running for this product. Inside this product, I am just going to add this one. So, for 3, this is my quantity 3 into 5000. I will be getting 15000. 15,000 plus 0. 15,000 plus 0. I will be getting the answer as 15,000 for first product. 
then my loop will be running for second product now my grand total value is 15 my loop will be running again my quantity is 1 1000 now i am going to add my 15 grand total plus 1000 i am going to add i will get as 16000 now my grand total value is 16000 the loop will be running for third product it is going to add this 2000 grand total is 16000 let me just write here grand total 16000 plus 2000 i should be getting the answer as 18000 so using this logic we have written our code so for every product the loop will be running and based on that grand total will be calculated that value will be stored inside grand total so for another loop that grand total value plus that product value we are adding again for another loop grand total value plus that product value and finally we are getting our entire grand total i hope you got my point what i am trying to explain i will remove this instead i'm just going to give some classes i will write here diff class is equal to i will write here empty text inside this i'm going to write cart is empty save this i will come i will refresh this one now let me just update the quantity i will update to 4 so 4 should be 1 lakh here also the quantity should be updated so it should be around 1 lakh 70 thousand i will click on update you can see 1 lakh 70 thousand is updated in the same way you can update it here too so now it should be 1 lakh 85 thousand i will update now the grand total is 1,85,000 and total price of each product is displayed for one product 25,000 for four quantity total price is 1 lakh for one product 15,000 for three products 45,000 for one product 20,000 for two it is 40,000 if you want you can display the dollar as well dollar save this I will refresh this now I am having dollar as of now we have not written any delete as of now we are not able to delete the products later on we are going to work on this delete product as well as if we are not having any products in the cart then this grand total proceed to check out continue shopping and this delete all this entire bottom section should not be displayed so that also we are going to see in next session once we perform this delete operation then we are going to work how to display based on condition how to display this bottom section